Let's see, are we good? I think we're good. Cool. Yeah, you're live. I'm not gonna check audio levels, though. That's fine. They don't sound uh. terrible. Wait, are you live? Twitch.tv slash FB0. No, I'm on YouTube these days. Oh, right, duh. Hmm. It has been a while. That's fine, don't worry. Uh, SMH. <laughs> it's all about them YouTube bucks these days. Apparently. I mean, also, like, unironically, YouTube seems like it's the better place to be streaming these days because you, as far as I can tell, you don't get the bots that you get on Twitch. Eh, I less lose. YouTube has a lot of other problems. I would say you, Twitch is better for for fostering a community. YouTube is better for just like kind of just streaming it. I think and not caring as much because there's no bits. There's no. There are. Like, you can do donation stuff, but there's no bits in the same way. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Gotta the point of it is I'm just doing challenge. it on here, because it's it's easier for me at the moment. But the, the pipeline to convert it over to a video is a lot easier here. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not... No, there is no pipeline. It mm -hmm. literally is a video. Yeah, yeah it just go, gets auto automatically saved to your channel later when you're yeah. done. Hell, you can actually just scrub backwards through the, the broadcast right now. Uh, what name are we today? Also, this is called The Worst Torture by, uh... uh the Worst I, Torture. I didn't write the name down. Let me see. Uh, by someone named Shuggy the Buggy. Good name. Today, we are Puar. I don't know how to say... how to spell Puar. E U A R. I was gonna say, I, I think it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, all right, game. You gonna? I hit end. Uh, it had to really think about that one for a moment. I thought it locked up. And so did I. <laughs> I was worried. Even the game's like, oh, I don't Are know you about, sure this about this one. You sure? You sure Clearly, you we should have been too long. All right, let's get going. Listen, by the time you're hitting, oh, we start with four characters. hearts. We start with four hearts this time. Whoa! Oh! Uh, oh! Hey, wait. Uh, uh. <laughs> the fucking jigsaw. Oh, that's great. Let's read the prescription. No. Hello, Poir. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> <laughs> it's also playing the like the mini game, the shop mini games type kind of music. Oh Pong no! Bowling. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. Get used to the slowdown. I don't want to. I actually put a new CP. Oh my God! What? <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh no. What? We're on a game show now, apparently. Jigsaw uh, really changed the way he does these things lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you let Chris Rock take over. Listen well, Poor. There used to be a man. He did he did drugs, but also he was a gymnast. And this this is your task to jump through Ow. the same course that he would. <laughs> but be careful. It's your life on the line. <laughs> I never watched any of these. The song, they're, they're all, they're, it's all, it all comes back to drugs. All of them. Wait, Effie, are you talking about Saw or uh, Wipeout? Or Wipeout, yeah. <laughs> yes? Uh, some, no, 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 yes. no. It's all the Saw movies. Okay. <laughs> One and two are okay. Yeah, I've heard that. Like, the first couple of them are actually quite good. 
or, or like one pretty is, decent. One is a real is a really good low budget, just kind of. Oh, I gotta climb the fence to avoid the fire. Movie, and oh, then no. it goes completely we off the rails after that. that. Yeah, it's like I don't know how much we need eight of them. Uh, okay. I think there's more than eight at this point. I think I ten. Just take some... Is was Saul ten the last one? Also, yeah, I don't Isn't see any Saul just why about... you shouldn't just eat the hit. It's about taking pain, right? It's about damage. <laughs> That's not how this game show usually works, but sure. Well, yeah, but that... Jigsaw wasn't running it last time, R8. Come on. Fine, fine. It is Takeshi's Castle. Or, um... MXC. We get MXC. Same I mean, deal. That's all, yeah, that's all Wipeout is. It's just American, less funny. Takeshi Castle. Yeah. So I can't, um. duck this? Oh, I can jump it, actually. Ooh, that's no. a scrub without your shield. I'm a little surprised they didn't, like, make this... Make, like, make it lava down there to hurt you. <laughs> it's, uh, in spirit with Wipeout, I guess. It's too hard to not- to just hang on the edge. You need to like push forward a little bit to to get on the ledge. So how badly is this broken if you backflip onto those? I'm guessing they're not far enough down. Where the shot? Yeah, the shot killed me. <laughs> Unfortunate. Sounds about right though. Again though, another Another hack in this competition that doesn't seem to quite comprehend the definition of escape room. I mean, this this is an escape room, just not not what we were going for. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like an escape lake. Just waiting to see what what's at the end of this game show. <laughs> oh, hmm. All right, no whammies. What's the door? Uh, left. Always go left. All right, the middle one's a go. Do you still uh, want to keep the left door? They, oh, it didn't. They, matter. They didn't matter. <laughs> That's right. Your That's prize funnier. is another ten years of Fire Emblem Three Houses discourse. All right. Yay. That was so fucking. S Why? <laughs> like, were there? Egg. Were there holes in the other ones? No. I think that was just to fuck with you. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the big orange one that explodes. Uh. Did, I think I won. Did, is that it? That's it. it. Uh. Feels like there should be more. I, I think I won. You win a lifetime supply of eyeball frogs! Hooray! <laughs> oh, look at that! I have one! I have 23, in fact. <laughs> Alright, time to cast myself off into the lake. Victory swim. Ogretel, you think that, do you think that I ever joke about Fire Emblem discourse? Three em or three houses discourse out of over uh, unicorn overlord. Like, is that a question you really want answered? No. I have played both games. There is no similarities between them <laughs> at all, other than all right. Unicorn I'm moving. Overlord taking some fire emblem inspiration. I'm moving on. I, I honestly thought the uh, localization discourse about from that game was bad enough. Okay, so uh, in third place, because we've we've kind of gone through all of them, 
at this point. Uh, except for... Well, we didn't... The one that we didn't finish. Um, but we're gonna just... We're gonna keep moving. So, the other third place that we didn't play yet is by Dragorn451, Dompe's Hut. It just took a moment. Escape Souls was the one we didn't finish, and Crimson Goddess was the one that didn't work on emulator. Yeah, that's right. Dante, do you have a picture of your own hut in your house? I mean, you don't have a picture of your bedroom inside your house somewhere? No. You should. That's where the deed. That's that's your deed. If you don't have your deed, you better go find it. Your plat. Dompe would like to play a game. I appreciate the slow pan, but oh oh, I just had to. Okay, I had to push buttons. I was like, oh, did we go straight in? Okay, who are we now? Far. Uh, now we need a we need a ghost hunter. We, any Dragon Ball ghost hunters? I mean, we could be Dompe, but we don't have an X. Uh, we don't have the accented E. Let's just be Nappa, I guess. Could always be Mr. Popo. I'll be Nappa, fine. After a long day of adventuring. There's a whole bunch of sound effects playing. Okay, I was I was concerned it crashed because it's Link is like... eager to get some rest. Who's Link? That's not our name at all. As the night is falling, Link encounters an inn. I don't know about this Good Link for guy, this Link but... fellow. I mean, it sounds like he got a nice, refreshing rest after a hard day of adventuring. He pays for a room until morning. I'm just interpreting this encounter as like him just fight, randomly finding the hell and in. Head, and heads to his night quarters. The amount of sound effects going on right now makes me think of the uh, visual novel segment of Nier. <laughs> also, please, Argate, this is... This is a uh, original dub house. You mean the Hethel Inn? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, that is still one of the greatest changes <laughs> ever made. Like, for he just puts it puts his hands up at this bed. Like, what? look at this bed. Amazing. Well, you, remember, remember incredible. Where... Yeah, I mean, remember what Link had to work with back in Ocarina of Time? Like, did you see his childhood? Well, that's dead? a cool effect. Oh, yeah, I actually like that. Well, may maybe not this part, but... No, that was, that was kind of a neat effect. Hey, Link, you're finally awake. I resemble a fairy, but I'm only a manifestation of the Triforce of Courage's power. An evil Poe cast a curse on you, but you were protected by the Triforce of Courage. Now we're trapped in the world of this evil Poe. We must find a way out. I'm sorry, but you're not allowed to use your finally awake unless you're waking up in the back of a cart. Hey, I was playing this game earlier today. I was playing... This was blood. Where's my... Where's my box of explosives? And my flare gun? Fire arrows are like a flare gun. What about a Tommy not gun? Slingshot. The very fast slingshot. <laughs> Have you I'll seen ready how to that A button? Are those Minecraft flowers? Those are Minecraft flowers. <laughs> Alright, let's pull that one. Oh, hello, there's a key there. Well, I mean. I guess if we call that a puzzle, <laughs> it, it was, was at least, you know, at least. If you pulled the one that was clearly marked as different than the others, it swung the camera so that it directly showed you the thing, so... There's no lock in sight, but the door doesn't open. 
must be a very special mechanism. The way that door is just kind of sitting on the wall makes me think of like the fake doors from Luigi's Mansion. I was thinking about the fake doors from this very game. <laughs> Fair enough. I actually forgot that there were fake doors in Ocarina. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I do like the idea that, like, it's a weird ghost. Oh, hang on, I'm getting check prompts. Ten souls lie buried, four side by side. A troubled one may not be a neighbor to another one of its kind. Uh, side and kind oh, it's don't... Ghost. Are we doing logic puzzles again? Yeah, we are. Ugh. Look, you wanted escape room. The, yes, the puzzle no. shit is exactly escape no, no, room. You is... complete. There's another key over there. No, like absolutely. This is this is some escape room shit. But like, write these hints down. Make life easier for yourself. All right. Who's my uh? Who's my um? Scribe. Oh fuck it. Hang on. All right. Go back and read that shit again. We'll do this one first since I'm right here. Or take screenshots. Right. I don't care. Ten souls buried. Two facing each other. Do not disturb the one near the wall. Two facing each other. Do not disturb the one near the one wall. Honestly, I don't mind uh, logic puzzles for an escape room. I just don't trust like ROM hackers to have uh, good logic. Fair logic puzzles. Yeah. Okay, so back to the other one that was... Like, back corner somewhere? Ten souls lie buried. Four side by side. Four side by side. A troubled one may not be a neighbor to another one of its kind. Okay. Ten souls lie buried. Show respect where flowers bloom. Should we not have moved that gravestone? Uh, it should reset its position. I know, I know, I'm just saying, like, moving the grave gravestone is the opposite of showing respect, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Ten souls lie buried. Disturb the one near what is dead, yet not buried. Disturb one near what is dead but not buried. And then was there, yes. Ten soul, ten buried, four side by side. At least two of them should be left in peace. Are there ten tombstones outside? I don't think so. There might have I mean, been. I'm sure there, there must be, given this puzzle, but... I think that's... Alright, what's upstairs? I'm sure there's more. Uh, no more bookshelves up here. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, me too. Also, we have one key. Yes, that's right. Uh... What? Ah, oh, I see. It's Undertale. that Undertale puzzle. All right, PW, you're up. Okay, so uh, if you touch the the orange panels, it makes you smell like orange, which means you can't step on the blue panels because then the piranhas will eat you. Oh no, it's a color matching one. We probably have to recreate this down Downstairs. there. Downstairs. Oh, okay. I... Yeah, I get. Wait, no. It's three. That's <clears throat> three by eight. This is three by seven. No, that's three by. That's three by eight. Up here? This no. One up here. No. Oh. oh no, this one is three by seven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Well, let's see what jumping down and doing anything there. Hang on. Let, I... Let's. Someone take. Let me take a screenshot. Of yeah, I'm trying to get you a good. Um... Go into first person, FB. Oops. Uh, I gotta back up. Okay. Uh, 
Got it. I'm just going to throw this over. It's got here. a weird static. Kinda, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh. no. Oh, God. Like, I don't mind these puzzles when they're just, like, you know, one color on off. But we got, like, this... four colors. Five, I think. One, two. Also, at maximum, you yeah, want to, right. like... For this kind of puzzle, a 3x3 three three grid is, like, the most that you can get away with before it gets real obnoxious. But also, yeah, the, this... the size of it is wrong. The puzzle up above is is smaller than this one. Right? Yeah, it's 8 down here. It would look like 7 up there. Okay. Um... Can we keep going down the hallway? Is there anything else before yeah, we go I... back outside? I was oh, just the kind of taking just a look. For, the extra row is just for puzzle solving. Oh, okay, oh, okay. This is actually way easier than it looks. Just eyeballing what's here now, because like, yeah. if you look off to the left, there's, there's the four that are together. Ten, four. There's the thing there. So it's it's like we gotta move some of these, and it'll open up the door over there. All right, let's go through the key door. Uh, is that a cosmic clone? <laughs> is that what's going? I triggered a curse. Shadow of yourself does not seem aggressive, but it's bound to your movements. You have to get rid of it in order oh, to move it's freely. Oh, style puzzles. Oh, it's it's mirrors. Oh, that's okay. This is cool. Yeah, yeah I like this actually. Uh, this would probably work a little bit better if you could have an overhead view of this room, though. 100%. Yeah, though, um, I'm not... Oh, I gotta take him to the fire. Okay. Then like this? Just kind of taking him back to, uh... Ah, uh, you have to Binding of Isaac it. Thanks. Why Ten we souls in? lie buried. Bother the one closest to the library. Okay. Bother closest to library. Two closest to the tower should not be separated. Closest this one doesn't say anything. Two closest to the tower should not be separated. So that means either pull both of them or don't pull Ten souls buried, them. four side by side. No one may be surrounded on both sides by harmony. What does that mean? Surrounded on both sides by harmony? I assume that means... That one of them is pulled, one of them isn't Yeah, you pulled. can't have... Like, if, if they can't be the same on both sides. Trouble the Trouble. one carrying heavy misdeeds. What? We never stopped to check if you could, like, read any of the tombstones. That's true. Although I'm worried that we we need a, uh... Oh, man. So which one of these awful puzzles do you want to do first? <laughs> well, my thought is, uh, this one should be solvable with just what we had up above. And if the other one requires any kind of hint that we might get from here, then we'll just be stuck out there for a while. That's not a bad point. Okay, well, it said there's an extra row for puzzle solving. You don't do anything with it. But still, I don't know if it's looking for the seven... I don't know if the extra row is on this side or on the other side, you know? I mean, you can always reset the puzzle by leaving and re-entering if, if you get the wrong side. Yeah, but if this thing is so big and it's got so many colors. I don't know how we would... X-Row is furthest from the door. 
Yeah, like, I don't know how we would recreate our progress if we had to leave. Start closest to the door. All right. So I'm going to get these greens. No. No, I'm wrong. Work from the middle is probably good advice, though, because... Yeah. You can't... We can't touch those without also touching one there, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, so red is the... The last color, basically. I'm just gonna fuck it up. Okay. immediately just like this is again one that would be immensely helped with a an overhead view at least an overhead view or the ability to like tap things from anywhere I could like no I can't I thought I could yeah I could see this being okay on like I don't know Phantom Hourglass <laughs> This or would one be of the a, games with the jump. This would be a neat puzzle. Yeah, in like if Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks. Because you can actually see the whole thing and you can write shit down. I just don't think this works in Ocarina. It is a very impressive concept. I'll give it that. I will also, you know, give this credit. This this is a fucking escape room. This is somebody who understood the assignment. They just needed to calm the fuck down. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm feeling about this one. Oh, God. We could end up being here for ages. I know Zelda Queen has offered a... Uh, a guide to complete it. I'm gonna, like, just look at it a little bit longer. The problem with doing this as a stream is that you don't want dead air, for lack of a better term, and like... I mean, there's nothing wrong with dead air, it's just that this would literally just be us sitting here for the last 30 minutes trying to figure out this stupid color puzzle that's four times as big as it should be. Yeah, like, just cut this, like, in half or to a quarter of the size. Maybe make it, like, two or three colors. Like, five is just too much. Especially when you can't even get to the whole middle column without, a uh, yeah. touching another one. Like, if this was the kind of puzzle where you could just press a button... So, like, you could hit the middle ones by themselves and flip colors. That would not be as bad. Yeah. But the fact that you have to physically walk there... This, this sucks. Like, I could see, like... Uh, a Nintendo level designer for... Like, a late stage Mario game attempting to do something like this and just immediately throwing it out because like it's a little too fiddly I mean Mario does do stuff like this it, like especially like in the Galaxy games it's just that it's strictly an on off thing yeah yeah like it's way simpler this style of puzzle is not inherently bad there's a reason it keeps showing up in video games but it's definitely one that needs restraint. Yeah, you can't get too compl or complex with it because that's just gonna frustrate people. No, Link's Awakening's color dungeon has uh, 
at most three colors, and I think the biggest is like a nine by nine or a three by three grid. Maybe it's a four by three, but like, it is not nearly as complex as this. Yeah. I don't even know what the color, what the solution even looks like anymore. Are we even remote? I, I am. I am. Yeah. All right. Like. I'm gonna go down here and just try to first person it. And if you look at what we've got, I'm I'm making progress. Like I'm making pretty decent progress on it. I've got the bottom mostly done or the part closest to me done. I've got the right side done. I've almost got the top left done. it up in here. Because of these center part parts. I know we were saying get the center right first, but even then that's pretty challenging. If you mess up one in the middle, it's incredibly hard to get any of the others. Yeah, yeah that's... I've just screwed up a bunch. one I'm next to needs to go to yellow. Oh, but the middle is... Okay. It is interesting how they managed to implement this. It's like, the original game doesn't really have anything like this. I mean, when there's a will, there's a way. It's just, you have the restraint to, uh, to realize what isn't the way? I don't know how to get that one to, to not be teal. Which, and which not one are you trying to get? It's the, the one... This one needs to go to yellow. Okay. Without affecting everything else, so I'm trying to change it over here. So, but which one? What color is the one to the in the middle, next to the red? Is that right? Uh, the one that this one go, is a green. So it should be yellow, green, and then what's the one in the middle, right above it? Is that right? Above the yellow? No, above the other, above the red, right now. It's um. That's the correct color. Okay. So yeah, we just kind of work our way down to the left. You just rotate. The middle is the middle is right is correct now.
Right, well, rotate this, like, rot stand on that one and rotate it till you get your yellow. And then rotate, then use the, the one that's next to it. Yeah, that green one now to rotate this one back into the color that we need. Yeah, but now the middle has changed, too. Well, that's fine, because now we can... You got so then we, we use work, this. Right? We use that now. F. Hmm. I I think I see how this is supposed to work, but like yeah, this this sucks. You just you're supposed to work your way down the board, using like the extra row as your buffer to be like, oh okay, well I'll use this to cycle this through to the next color so that it lines up in the middle correctly. Hang on, I think. We might be the, almost there. Because, yeah, like you were saying. Hang on. Is that not it? Let's see. Oh, I've be... got the. Uh, I've got um, a mistake. One of the blue, the the middle dark blue over there should be a light blue. Crap. Is it? Yeah. No, it should be. Oh yeah, I see. You're right. Uh, and then this goes to yellow. And then this one back to green. Oh! Finally! I got the sword. Holy fucking shit, we're free! Oh man, that took a while. Okay. I think All right. getting the middle first was, yes, that was right, but it was, uh, get it first by going down the thing. Don't, like, go on the sides. Alright, let's, uh, let's look at this puzzle real quick. Uh, so. So let's do, alright, so a couple quick easy ones. The two that are facing each other, not the ones here by the tower. Uh, turn to your right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, the two that are facing each other. Do not disturb the one... Which one is it? It's... I just saw it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 the two... What the fuck? Do not disturb the one by the wall. Okay, so we're not going to move that one. That's out. Alright. Uh, maybe move this one, but maybe not. Uh, I think we probably will, because disturb the one that is near what is dead, but not buried. I presume that's the oh, tree. Oh, that's the tree. That's oh, absolutely yeah, that, the that tree. That looks like a dead tree. Oh, yeah, so we are going to disturb that. Oh, I can push them back. Okay. Yeah, Great. let's go. Let's go push back the one with the flower, then. Uh, the flower's fine. Or no, I it thought is. we were supposed to... It, we did yeah, push that, it. That, that it didn't, stayed. That did not reset. Okay. Alright, um... What else do we have here? Let's see. Four side by side. Troubled one may not be neighbor. Okay, so... The two closest to the tower should not be separated. I guess it's these two. I would say so. So they're either both in or both out. Alright. I remember there was something about the flowers. Uh, show respect where the flowers bloom. So don't move it. Don't so these two, down. these two stay to stay together. Yeah. Show respect for the flowers bloom. Let me just move these down as we clean these hints out. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Two closest to the tower, not separated. We did that. Um. So all right, at least two left in peace. We that's fine. We've got we have at least two that have not been touched. We've got the four. Uh, uh, the one that is cl okay. So the one that is closest to the library, we are going to bother. Okay. Let's 
So that must make this the four that can't be... These are the four that are side by side. And can't okay, be in so, harmony or something. Yeah, a troubled one may not be neighbor to another of its kind. Oh, okay, so, so then, like, move this one. Yes, yes, hit the third one. Okay. And then uh, maybe move the no last... One, and no one may be surrounded on both sides by harmony, which is... So I'm going to guess that probably means we have to... It's got to be three and one. Like, so we have to move either two or four there. Uh, and I presume the answer to that will be trouble the one carrying misdeeds. What does that mean? Which, what is misdeeds here? Maybe if we move one, then it'll show something. No. I guess let's uh, push that back and try the other. What is that? Hang on. What is that one on the far side there? This Over one the next corner. to the flowers? No, 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 no. no. Oh, no, that was. We did that one. Or we didn't do this one. This one's also close to the library. Actually, this is say. the closest to the library. Yes, that's the closest to the library. That one needs to go. Hang on. Then I gotta push these back. Because we, we pulled that assuming it was... Okay. The but those are the, the four that we need to... Yeah, the yeah. four have their own set of stuff. Okay, so four side by side. A troubled one may not be neighbor to another of its kind. No one may be surrounded on both sides by harmony. Trouble the one carrying misdeed. I don't know about so the misdeeds, is... but I think what that I think what we need to do surround it's a no surrounded by harmony and trouble can't be next to each other. I think it's the the outer ones. Okay. facing each other do not disturb the one by the wall we did that disturb one disturb what is ne near what is dead but not buried we did that show respect for the flowers bloom not the two closest to the tower two are left in at least two in peace we've done that we moved the one closest to the library I don't know, this feels like it should be right. Well, alright, let me take this thing and check the door. No. So... Then what is, what is the one carrying Misty's? I think that's the only clue we don't understand. Why does this one move slowly? Hmm. Is oh, it's heavy! Yeah. Does that mean that's the one carrying misdeeds? Hang on, don't that was that it. Together. That was it. It's heavy oh. with misdeeds. The door's open. It doesn't give us a thing. You gotta check the door. Let's go up the tower. We have the sword. Get it all time. Does Navi have anything to say about this poem? Or the Triforce of Courage? Missing I guess? message data, EN. <laughs> ha! Okay. You defeated the evil Poe. Congratulations. Now you will have a peaceful night. That's it. Made by Team Dompe's Hut. Oh, there were five people involved with this one. Okay. I mean, that was cool, but. All right. Well, there was escape room puzzles, puzzles definitely. Oh, we get an end cutscene. Maybe. No, we're back. That on was the, thing. the closest to being an actual escape room. Yeah. No. What? One hundred percent. That was an actual escape room, but also it only had like two puzzles. Two complex puzzles. One more 
dexterity, not dexterity, but just like one more, you get a, the color like, puzzle is cool, get... but the yeah, method only... of changing them around is. Yeah, it, it had, it only had two puzzles, and of those two puzzles, one of them was like five times more complex than it really should have been. Interesting overall, for sure. But, um, yeah, that was, that was tough. That, that, that color puzzle just took a lot. Three puzzles. What was the third puzzle? Kill a ghost? Um... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the Dark Link. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dark Link. Oh, yeah, I forgot the Dark Link bit. That was good. That was so fast. That's, that was actually my favorite one of the, the three we saw. All right. I, too, enjoy playing Binding of Isaac. Well, we're going to go on to the second one now, second place, by Pontius Stone, Bedtime Story. <laughs> it's playing a, lullab a very spooky lullaby. Was this horror themed or is that just something everybody apparently decided? Remember how before I said that one mod was, in fact, just Link leaving his house? Hmm. Uh, what's the name of the, char of the character in Silent Hill 4? Oh, shit. Uh... Hang on. Fuck, I Nobody know this. plays Silent Hill 4. Also, the uh, menu music is slightly slowed down and pitched down, not into minor key or anything, but just like... Uh, Henry. Henry is his name. Could just name the character Depression. I named him Herney on accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's good. We're, we're Herney. <laughs> Ooh, six hearts. We Skyward Sword now. Oh no, we're, we're Majora's Mask now. It's Grandma! Herney, I told you, you can go play with your friends outside later. Listen to your grandma's story. And don't let me catch you out here again before she's finished. Oh, hello, Tortoise. Do you want Grandma to read you a bedtime story? Well, alright, let's, uh... Do we? Hand-knit tunic and worn-out bo worn boots. Let's see, where was I again? To free himself from the curses he practiced every now and then, the boy needed the golden spiders that came in a group of ten. In a room full of distractions, the boy sat with a mood most foul. If only he had his brother's slingshot to get rid of that pesky owl. Yeah, I see the key up on the bookshelf. Okay, so we're gonna need ten, ten Skulltulas and a slingshot? To shoot an owl? Yeah? To his surprise, there was a hidden cave under the Ring of Fire. Many full of, full of many dangers it was, some of which even required new attire. Doron tunic? Having endured the cave's dangers, the boy's eyes lit up with glee. Now only one more obstacle stood between him and finally being free. The chef forgot to turn on his... Wait a second, did I skip a page? Let's see, where was I again? Okay. So, ten Skulltulas, Slingshot, Goron Tunic? Oh, I get it. We can climb up the empty bookshelf.
I was gonna ask if like this was uh, like you know uh, roll into the wall and knock the key down. I thought about that too. Yeah. Bring a fire. Oh no. Her story's done, right? Yeah. Okay. It's hot in here. Do they not believe in AC or anything? We'll roast in here. Oh, hello. Hey, just because just because it's like 73 degrees. Oh, hey, Herney. You know how I sometimes practice the dark arts in the shower? Well... I may or may not have accidentally transformed myself into a spider monster and split my soul into ten pieces. Could you do me a favor and bring them back to me? I'll give your toy back if you do. I like that so shower. So we're gonna get the slingshot. Thanks, yeah. Herney. You mind getting my soul back? <laughs> that is a pretty nice shower for uh, the Ocarina of Time engine. God, Herney would be like an Appalachian name, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh! Okay. Well, there's the fake doors. Oh, hey, sport. I thought you were listening to your grandma's story. Oh, what's that? You think it's too hot in here? Well, AC is expensive, and rupees don't grow on trees, you know. Ha ha ha. Back in my day, we didn't have any of that fancy stuff. You just had to put on something lighter and deal with it. Anyway, I'm fixing supper now, but it's heating up awful slow for some reason. I'll come get you and your grandma when it's finally ready. Weird, it feels like we're actually in Majora's Mask because the UI is also the Majora's Mask UI. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, you're right. Uh, the butter knife. Butter knife? Be careful, don't cut yourself with it. Poke your eye out! Now you can kill your brother's soul. He's spiky. Mumble, mumble. Honey. Put the swords away. We'll take out the trash tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go reset the, the heat timer. Yeah, let's go cool off. It'd be hilarious if the counter kept going mid-conversation. And Link passes out from heat stroke. How is this room any cooler, though? That one even has a fire going in it. One that goddamn consistency. He really has it up <laughs> high. Grandma's got an air conditioner and a fireplace going. Oh no, Grandma, I used no, up my heart. Sounds like an old lady. I used up my heart heart opportunities. <laughs> is that a chest up on the, the yes. cabinet? Yes, there is. That's a key. There was a key back down the hall by Grandma's room. Anything in these boxes? A big jar of magic, which makes me think we'll need it, so I'm gonna save the boxes. Bunch of spiders up here. Well, uh, you can't Z target spiders. Get lost, twerp. Everything is so annoying. You, the spiders, the owl, I just want them to all go away. Oh, there's an owl out of the window. Oh. Hi there. Oh, 
Ernie, go listen to your grandma's story like I told you. You can go play with your friends later. But mom... Grandma doesn't know what she's talking about anymore. There must be a lot of spiders in here, because I think we've been everywhere else. Yeah, there's that's a big one up there. Actually, there's a big switch up there, too. We're tiny. Yeah, this is stuff that's all taken from the, uh, the library in the ocean spider house. Yes, that's right. So how do we get up? Because I don't think we're tall enough. We're not. I haven't figured it out, but I do have health now. I can survive outside for longer. There wasn't any bookshelf we could climb? I'll check them. I, I wasn't... I was kind of looking. I swear. But we need to get the, the pieces of our brother's soul before we can get that. Now, normal, normal family matters. What happens when your brother practices the dark magic and dark arts in the shower? I don't see a way up. Well, where else are you supposed to practice the dark arts, really? In the cave underneath the house, I guess? Okay, there's two more. <laughs> Think about how hard it is to clean up the blood if you're down there. I did break the boxes, but I did try... I also tried... Well, I guess I could have jumped off of the box to gain extra height. Uh, is it worth a shot? I didn't think about it that way. I just kind of tried to climb up from here. Yeah, you can do that. That feels wrong. Sort of. Oh, that's a... That's a press down switch. Okay, we need those crates. We need the crates, but not only that, I need to, uh... That's gonna open the, uh, the bars so that we can get the last two spiders. Oof. Yeah, like, my path back has to be along the bookshelves in such a way that I can actually jump the gaps. Uh, there's one more somewhere. Yeah, I was about to say, are we missing one? I mean, you should be able to hear it, at least. Yeah, you should be able to I can hear it whenever I go into the room, so... Hmm, no, not yet. Uh, nothing in this one. There is here, but we can't go in there yet. Yeah, we need bombs to destroy the, the fake wall. It might be in one of these three crates here. Well, let's try it, I guess. For yeah. Lack of a better option. It was. All right, let's go uh, save our brother from himself. Hey, Hermano, we, f we found your soul. Ah, he, he too is a never nude. <laughs> <laughs> so 
what's the count so, of those up to? Three? Count of never nudes? Yeah. Um, three, I guess. There are dozens of us. Yeah. <laughs> so we have the eyeball in the library, and we have the owl. The owl. Up yeah, upstairs we're supposed to shoot. We'll do the uh, eyeball first, because it's right across the hall. I was going to say, can we even shoot the owl from, from inside? Well, I assume so, given that we got a... Uh... It looked like the kind of grating that you can shoot through that tripped us up uh, doing um, one of the ROM hacks. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Oh, this stayed up. Nice. Sealed Palace. That was the one that, that uh, fucked with us with the shootable grate. I got the light tunic. It's very breathable. So you don't have to worry about intense heat. Oh, it's microfiber. Mmm. Linen would have been a better word to use there. <laughs> microfiber feels real weird. Okay, let's shoot this owl. Payback for all the long conversations. Well, how about that? Everybody complains about the fucking owl. I never see anybody complaining about the calm flashback at FF7. This special bag was sewn by hand with lots of love. We found bombs! <laughs> what a lucky grandson you are! Now, sweetie, I've been working for six months to get this just right. Here are your live explosives! <laughs> <laughs> Use them responsibly, go fuck up a cop! Thanks, Grandma! That cop here's, uh... Yeah, that, really, that they're coming for me now, <laughs> thanks. Uh, we've escaped to the backyard. No, we're going to the front yard. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Oh, we're not. Oh, wait, no, I can still... Hi, what are you selling? Blue potion for 40 rupees. Do we need a blue potion? I don't know. But I I guess I should respawn him real fast. I mean, if we need 40 rupees for something, that's going to fucking suck because we have Yeah. No, not but like anything. I but let's assume that there must be rupees out here. Oh god, it's the dog. Oh, never mind. Wow. Just fucking murder the family dog. Jesus Christ. It attacked me first. It was coming right at him. And you've picked up the dog's drop. Look, this dog, this dog has a bone arm in there. That was not a good dog. It's just a rubber toy. I feared for my life. Oh, you didn't Z-target uh, the dog. For info. Oh, you're right. I I can't believe Herney is a young cop. I got the boomerang. What do we need the boomerang for? Attacking distant enemies, duh. Listen, you already got a slingshot, you have high explosives. Boomerangs are next on the list of, like, 1950s child endangerment toys, right? <laughs> We can't buy that blue potion, even if we did have the money. We don't have a bottle. Oh, oh yeah. I jumped the fence. Oh, shit. I don't think we're supposed to be out here. No, there's a treasure chest over here. I wait, got wait. Deku sticks. Uh, examine the enemies. Oh, I didn't. Don't, those Damn guys will respawn. Those guys will respawn. Oh, it's a heart container. 
Oh. So we can not die at home? It's just normal Deku Baba text. I saw the, the, the vine to go back up. Oh, oh, there's a bottle out here. Oh. Well, there we go. I got nuts. <laughs> the boomerang is for playing fetch because it won't because you don't have a dog anymore to bring it back. <laughs> mm. Oh no. Oh no. That's that's a good chat there. That's very good. What have I done? Kill the dog. It's pretty simple. This is another business scrub out here. Does he have text? Nothing other than vanilla. I'll sell you a Deku shield. 50 rupees. I... Jesus. There must be money somewhere. Oh! I've gone to I've gone to the front yard and I'm being attacked by my mom with a Naginata. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been thrown back into Grandma's house. You fool. Did you think your mother wouldn't pull a fucking spear on you? <laughs> I can't believe Grandma's room is just the pit. Uh, update, dog's still dead. You right. monster. I you monster. <laughs> I found so 20 rupees that? in a tree. So is that a... Is that like a, supposed to be like a sandbox or a fire pit over there? Or is that like a giant ass well? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a well. I'm gonna go leap into it. That is gigantic if it's a well. Oh, I can sit here and farm rupees, guys. I'll see you in 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't believe Arctic doesn't have a giant well in his backyard. I don't uh, think let's... he has a backyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, we found a grotto. It's like a Twilight Princess kind of grotto? Yeah, it's kind of given that impression. Oh, so the best flowers. Is that one of the Majora, like the moon doors? Maybe? Yes! It's definitely a Majora mask door. I don't know if it's, like, from the moon specifically, but... It's the only kind of place I can think it would be. Speaking of Binding of Isaac, yeah, I suppose so. Alright, well, let's go light this torch, I guess. I can hear a, a torch in the, the room, so let us... Yeah, there's uh... one over here, I think? Yeah. There's a lizard man that I heard attacking. Well, let's uh, be sure to... A dinosauric foe. Maybe it's as old as Grandma. Oh, if I get 10 more rupees, I can go get a shield. Or we could gotta go get a blue potion right now. Oh my god. My allowance. <laughs> we have so many options. I can't wait to have one of those, uh, like, reflecting scrubs, and then immediately after that, one of those fucking gibdos from under the well that's like, GIVE ME A BLUE POTION! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Herney, a natural hot spring. It's no wonder the house is so hot knowing it was built right above this. Yeah. 
Stray Dog. It kind of looks like Precious, but with a little bit more mange. Grandma would probably love it. Oh no, the dog outside had a name. <laughs> well, yeah, he was the family dog. Um, so what do we do about the hot spring gate? Or just here like in general. Oh my god, camera. What do I do in here? You murder the stray dog, I guess. Probably nothing from this side. I have to find another way in. Yeah, I just... I'm not sure what that would be. Probably somewhere in the house. Uh, what, what did Grandma's story say about a ring of fire? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's the oven in the house. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well... Oh, I guess we could go that way. I killed Precious, the pupper. I don't... Hmm. Pupper is a strong word there. Okay, I... Alright. But for the sake of... Like... Let's, uh... Let's go back in. I want to check and see, like you're saying, maybe the Ring of Fire is, in fact... The... Oven. Fall down the oven. Mom, I want to go out so badly, I'm going to leap into the oven. <laughs> Alright, dear, have fun. Any bushes I didn't already loot? Hey, 50 money, I can get a shield now. I feel, like, I feel like we should wait and see which one of those we're going to need before we spend any money. No. <laughs> God damn it, FB. It's gonna be very sad if it turns out we need the blue potion. Look, we I got a refund. One, one hundred percent chance we need that blue potion now. The, the game doesn't have the ability. Like uh, this is still Ocarina, even though it looks like Majora in some instances. You cannot do the pause during a conversation and give a thing. I mean, Ocarina does have the sell a thing. No, but you see. Well, I guess that's true. Oh, don't worry. I got it all. <laughs> I made my money back. Okay, but which version of Ring of Fire are we singing here? Personally, I think the, the correct answer here is the Dragon Force version. All right, let's go jump in an oven. All right, this one's pretty good. I, I like this hack so far. Yeah, this hack has been real good. <laughs> it's it's that weird case where it's a little bit less escape room, but it still works. It is more of a puzzle than some of the other ones have been. What does Grandpa have to say? Anything different? Hey, well, I'm fixing supper now. It's heating up awful slow for some reason. Mm -hmm. Because now there, maybe? There's yeah. no what. Yeah. Gran gr Grandpa, you don't appear to have the stove turned on. If that doesn't work, then yeah, I guess let's just go back to the uh, the hot springs. Is there a torch in here at all? No. No, I guess there isn't. Yeah, the only torch the only torches I can remember were the ones downstairs. Or oh, like the ring of fire was the well. Turned off when Precious you killed the dog. Precious oh. was the guardian of the, the, the I didn't the notice that. Fire. I only noticed the uh the chests <laughs> show up. Yeah, same. So I wonder if you were meant to kill the other dog through the wall like that. That felt really weird. Yeah? Oh. 
Alright, hot spring. Just for the, the the door that's over there. Oh, I need to bring the torch into oh, I, here. Oh. Unless there's you well, know, unless these you are get inspire, and that's why they keep giving you magic. Well, I'm gonna try uh, with the torch first. Yeah, because these are sliding I, doors, so I can walk through carrying it. Yeah, I, I imagine we'll eventually hit inspire, so we can turn on the. Uh, the stove properly. Yeah, we need some kind of ability to make fire in order to get the stove working, so. Chest up top. Have a key? Probably. Yes. Now, there is an open door over there. We should probably do that first. Yeah, I agree. Oh boy, Stalfos. Glad I got that shield. What do we have for, uh... Yeah, have <laughs> oh yeah, the text. Great Uncle Egos! Grandma's younger brother. <laughs> He's looking a little bony nowadays. I think he should really eat more. Murdered the dog. Murdered the pet lizard. Murdered... Your great uncle, who's been dead under the well. I I don't think I can we murder this man. The great uncle. You know, maybe maybe mom's right. Maybe we should be confined to our room. <laughs> it wasn't even our room. That was grandma's room. Yeah, but may maybe mom wants grandma dead. Her stories are horrible. She's. She's got an insane inheritance lined up, but Grandma just refuses to kick the bucket. Well, we found our great uncle's uh, nest egg of 20 bucks. No, that was I mean, his hell. life insurance payout. <laughs> I mean, do you see how spacious this house is? Like, hell yeah, this, how much do you think this place sells for? Like, so maybe... Mom, Mom cannot wait to get to get control of this. No, no. This house is paid off. That's why she wants it. Oh, it doesn't go out. Well, yeah, it's hot spring water, not regular water. How did I get hurt? Uh, this is probably being treated as, uh, like acid or lava. Yeah, you're, you're, sta you're standing oh, in the yeah. water. Oh, yeah. And I'm wearing the Goron tunic. Oh, here I yeah. have to, uh... Oh. Self-immolate. That would be the, the easiest solution. Oh no. Oh god. One minute to take all three of these guys? What do you think I am? Someone good at this game? Well, this I is why you got that art container. I believe in UFD.
Oh, there's... There's these guys. This is a fucking Nimpy's room. <laughs> I remember this room from Nimpy's. This room, exactly. But actually, though... Well, I guess we know what the boomerang's for. Not that we need it. Could have needed it, I guess. I guess this is probably Din's fire, then? Nope. Uh, apparently, this was optional. Oh. I hope, I hope instead of Din's fire, we get fire nuts. Army, please don't set fire to your nuts. <laughs> I'll do what I want. I'm a problem child. <laughs> Just wanted a taste of those hot nuts. The snack that's sweeping across America. <laughs> Listen, everybody knows the youth are into flaming hot nuts. Oh, quick, I gotta get some bugs. Oh god, I, wait, no, I gotta kill the key so, before he burns my shield. Also, you didn't you buy the blue potion? Yes. Uh, no, I'm not I getting the nuts. Yes. Yeah. Or I'm not. I'm not getting the bugs. I'm not going on a reverse bottle adventure. <laughs> okay. Hey, not with that attitude. <laughs> oh, you're right. I, I'll try harder. Also, please, Herney would absolutely be into catching weird bugs and showing them to everybody that he can. I found this one while I was underneath the well, right next to my dead great uncle. Don't worry. Look at how many legs this guy. I, I killed him again. He was, he's dead for good now. Poor Hardy has no friends his age to actually hang out with. My shield! So poorly socialized because of it. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. Oh, this is... Oh, this, this actually looks kind of annoying. How am I going to do this one? Basically, uh, gotta like. You can probably jump around that. Uh, well. Oh, maybe not. Well, That's a... That kind of worked. Oh, it's it's probably you go up there, you boomerang, you get up, you take the torch up there, boomerang, jump over, boomerang the second one, then go. Run get the across. torch again. And... Maybe I can oh. hit both of them from uh from the low platform. I mean, try it, I guess? Or probably, you bet you can do it. Oh, yeah, I can platform. do, I can do, I can do both at once. Or set up both yeah. at once. Oh, no, it yeah, bounces then, back if you hit. Yeah, but no, you can totally just do both of them from here and then just catch the torch again and go up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that that's the way. Oh, that one's not going now. Listen, some basements have radon, some basements have underground fleshy pillars. That that what do you think? Him, Herney deciding to grab the edge of the weird jelly messed me up. What do you think the weird jelly underneath the house does for the, uh, the value of the house? Oh, you just gotta get the you just gotta get uh, pest control in there. Structural. Make sure it ha just make sure it hasn't gotten into any of the eyes. Wait, that one's bottom. still blue. Why did that one not? Oh, you son of a bitch! I was. Oh, I would have been rude. fine. I would have been fine. I don't know why it didn't. Maybe it could stun for longer. Maybe, but that was a long while. Wait. What? Do they? Do they only revert when you look at them? I've never considered this before. Just call it. Then it doesn't matter. Hmm. Throw in your flesh pillar. These pillars... Yeah. That's... 
Herny lacks really object funny. permanence. <laughs> so that's why it hasn't been a problem for the uh, the family before. They just weren't looking. <laughs> Nobody knew they were down here, so they Herny didn't exist. Herny just has untreated ADHD. It's fireball engulfs everything. It's attack magic you can use with C. All right, let's go get dinner, I guess. Or we continue right here. Oh, right, yeah, there was more. A whole six MP. It's true, we did. We unlocked Arson. Again, playing into my untreated ADHD the theory. Um? Ooh. I don't like this room. <laughs> Blue potion. I don't. I don't need it. You gonna give me another shield? Fairies? Oh, it's just a fairy. Uh, no. If one of you has a shield, I I can't buy it yet. I can get extra Deku nut from this guy, but that doesn't seem really useful. <laughs> Gotta get that upgraded nut sack. Uh, I would need five. Oh, I need a key. All right, we're going back up to the house. We're gonna go light grandpa on fire. <laughs> a better use of time than uh, engorging your nutsack from a, a weird shrub. Now see, Herney, all you gotta do is take this special medicine. Oh my god, these stupid <laughs> things take so much health when you're a kid. He's is Grandpa trying to give Herney gas station boner pills? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not Grandpa that's trying to give it to him. It's the weird shrub that lives underneath the house. Okay, yeah, no, that tracks, actually. Wait, no. No, we've, we've been here. Yeah, this was your great uncle's grave. He's still dead. Just letting y'all know. <laughs> this one is uh, quite a bit longer than I thought it would be, given the premise. Same. The other part of it is, is like it was an escape room at the start. But now it's a little bit more on the just kind of mini dungeon side. I'm gonna laugh if this actually burns the house down. Ermie, what have you done? Oh, just another giant chest. Does, does what did we need here? We needed this? the key. The old... Yeah, you know, the old chest collection oh, that you right. keep in the, in the kitchen. Well, then there must be another key somewhere. I mean, you joke, but I do technically have a, a pretty decently sized chest that is adjacent to my kitchen. <laughs> Don't store it. It's there for storage and also as additional seating when I have people over. <laughs> yeah, additional seating for you mostly. Because it is very uncomfortable to sit on. Yeah. Have, have you considered just getting more chairs? He has enough. It's just when you have like five people, there's like. I don't physically have the space. Oh, I'm in the. I'm rich! Place. I'm rich! <laughs> <laughs> We're Damn. rich. Really stealing your brother's allowance now. Fuck him, he's a... he's a spider. Oh, that's talk true. to Grumpy we, we Brother. Not, we have not gone back upstairs to talk to the... the guy who hates the owl. Uh, yeah, we did not. Uh, do I... Do I think he's gonna change his text? Probably not, I don't but... think he is, man. Right. I mean, you know, maybe the other thing we should do is we should probably talk to Grandma again and make sure we've got the whole story. I think I might have just missed a key. 
Like, we can go look at Grandma's text again, sure, but... Maybe the brother will give you one because, you know, hey, you fixed his problems. Where was I? Golden spiders. Okay, yeah, Owl. We that. Cave danger, ring of fire, new attire. One more obstacle stood between him and finally being free. Chef forgot to turn on his. Oh, why did my page of my guy on again? Well, well, we, we did, did that, yeah. We did turn on the oven for the chef. So we're just missing a key somewhere. It's got to be down in there, and we just missed it. Hey, Hermano, we got rid of the owl for you. No, he hates. He's still mad. Okay. Hey, brother. What a piss, baby. Fuck you, twerp. Get out of my room. I just wanted to help. He's just upset because he has a hook for a hand. <laughs> also, Precious was definitely his dog. <laughs> what a chicklet. <laughs> what? Alright, are there any bombable walls that we missed? Those are kind of tough to see in this set. None that I noticed. The ones that, um... The ones that I did bomb were the ones that, like, stick out a little ways. Yeah. That's what I was saying. We didn't, like, miss any of those, did we? I don't think I don't so. Think so. There wasn't another door on this side. Maybe the scrubs had a key. Like, one of them had a key underneath him and I just didn't notice. I am going to take some time to buy a bigger nut sack now, though. Growing, growing boy. Inventory's growing. You. It's a solid 30 nuts. It's a lot of nuts. That's a lot of nuts. Ermie, you may want to go see a doctor about all your nuts. in this room. I don't think, yeah, you, I don't think there was anything hiding down in here. What key did I miss? Like, I don't need the bugs to go and, infil and go into, like, soft sand. Even if you did... That would only that only gets you a skeletal law. So, so if we are, we did that a lot. Well, I mean, we are in the realm of of Did Rom you Hag. break that pot in the water there? Yeah, there wasn't anything in it. This was the optional room from Nimpies. Missing anything obvious, right? Yeah. I don't know. 
Like, the way that it's been going, you need a key to get to the, through the lock, and then you find another key in another set of rooms. Maybe there was one in Grandpa's area, and we just missed it? I just didn't see it? That seems unlikely. Yeah. Is there somewhere else you could use Din's fire? Burn down the doghouse? I mean, all we got was the uh, the talk about the hot spring being right under the house, but I don't think that was relevant. A bomb wall in the first part of the grotto in the room with the Lizalfos. Didn't we get I that? Think. Yeah, I thought we did that, but let's take I'll a check. look. Sure. Man, it doesn't look like there's anything here. I'm not getting the, uh, the right sound effect. Let me check the other side. And the door here is just to the caged off part of the hot spring. The, there's, was there anything there? In this other room? No. It was just some plants and a, a gate I couldn't do anything with. Yeah, we just had to slowly murder a stray dog from behind the wall. Nothing in the water in here, is there? I don't think so. It did not appear to be. Try looking in the rafters in Great Uncle's room again. I mean, there were three blue flames up there, and one that wasn't. But the problem was, I didn't see a do way we, up there. Do we shoot at them? Or we could, we could maybe Din's fire? Like, it, the fireball might get high enough to hit, like, a torch that's up there? Yeah, I guess let's try Din's fire. No. There, there is a key There's... up there, though. Oh, shit. Boomerang. Boomerang. The boomerang. The boomerang. That's why you needed it. But we also needed it for the jellies. I would not have thought to look up there, because, you know, you get the chest on the bottom. Now, granted, it was just some rupees, but, like, given that there's, like, the shield, the chest was, like, misdirection at that point. Yeah, actually, because the heart container just made it seem like, uh, great uncle, uh, whatever was just optional. Not a fan of that one. It's okay, like but like. To call him this one, and I go that's wrong. Well. Yeah, that is wrong. Oh, big money, big money. So here, here's the land value of the house. Wait, did that not want to blow up? Was that too far? That one's a fake. Weird. Oh. Okay. Herney! That is it! 
I've had it up to here with you, mister. I'm grounding you. Permanently. Oh no. No, mom, no. Please, this is a misunderstanding. I mean, you stole the family's, like, life savings. You killed the... Uh, the, the family pet. Uh, you gave oh, your, wait, hang you on. your... Mom. Grandpa third, third degree burns? I've never seen her this angry before. Don't let her get a hold of you, Herney. Oh, she was winding up. I did her Z-target, yes. You may be slightly behind. I feel like my streams get slow, like, go slow, or, I don't know. More de the more desync they can go down. Which is weird, because I'm not really dropping frames. I was about to ask, have you lost any frames? Well... I don't know exactly. I can't stop fighting Mom to, to check. I'm gonna think that they probably just looked away because... Like... How much health does Mom have? I mean, you're using the basic-ass butter knife. FP, please. Moms are tough. You know this. Hmm. Quick, load her up on your nuts. Bye, Mom. Don't nut on your mom. Can can we go back in the front door? I'm gonna put it. Strange. The door's locked. Thanks, mom. Uh, hey, know, wait. Couldn't I go around here? Wasn't this a gate? Huh. huh. Don't worry about it. Alright, I guess let's, uh... Let's escape Mom's house? Or the family house? Escape from Grandma's house. Oh, he wanted... That's right, he wanted to go play... It be, it's the Bean Man! <laughs> That shit eating grin. That's a fucking like hallmark moment. <laughs> yeah, I murdered my mom so I could be here. What about it? <laughs> Henry Pliskin in Escape Ernie from Pliskin. Mom's House. Herney Pliskin, yes. Okay, well, that was that was fun. Like that was really just overall enjoyable. It, was, it had an escape room and then it had also a mini dungeon. I think the mini dungeon was a little less needed, but it was still really good and it just kind of had a fun feel to it the whole time. Anyway, uh it's getting a bit late, but I think we're just we're almost done. Let's just go for the first Let's go for first right. place. I, I do have to drop now, so I will uh, probably just kind of listen in as you guys do this one. All right. Have a good Fair night. Fair enough. Okay. See you guys okay. later. See ya. Uh, this was... Right. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I was trying to... I, I opened it up before I said the names of it. Uh, oh. This is first place... The Withering Mind by As Asahi. Are we Link to finish out, or... Who are we? I think it's time for Oolong. The fucking pig. Yes. That pig's a goddamn hero. No.
there, there's an O in there, yeah. All right, let's see what first place brings us. I was playing forest temple music. And you're in a Resident Evil mansion. That's a nice chandelier. Honestly. Also, there appears to be an eyeball on it. There is definitely an eyeball on that. I'm guessing you're in we've... a Resident Evil mansion. Yeah. Actually, no. This is the Luigi's Mansion mansion, but with extra ground floor. This is Luigi's mansion. There has to be something that happens with this one, because right now it looks so... It looks really basic in like a... Well, aside from the nice 3D model of the a door frame. Yeah, like, geometry-wise, this looks really basic, and there's not really much of anything going on, so... So I'm wondering what happens with this. Is it just a really good escape experience? Oh! Rats! Okay, big chest. Oh no. Okay. It's alright. It's the shield. Roderick was really hoping for an ice trap. I, I, every time that something like that happens, yeah. It's, it's important to set the tone early. The Withering Mind version 1.2 minor bug fixes. I see a book. Give us that hot lore. My notes are scattered everywhere. If only I could remember what each one is referring to. I found one recently that may have some importance. I will keep it here so I don't lose it. Attached to the notes is a message which reads, Only when the captain goes blind are his secrets revealed. According to chat, this was inspired by liminal, the concept of liminal spaces, so... That explains yeah, that the kind of backroomsy looking like textures on walls and stuff. These boxes are... Very conspicuous. Oh wait, no, they're filing cabinets. Wait. Yeah, they're just like file boxes or something. Link does his taxes. You know, at least he does, compared to some of the other heroes. Wait, can we go out the way we came? We started there, but the door's locked now. Uh, oh. Oh, God. Library. That's I... a lot of books. I mean, if you want to say, if this, if the withering mind is really more like, hey, this is a representation of Link going insane. That's a lot of books to make that point with. Oh, I can't start climbing. All right, I need to learn how to do a ground jump. Wait, I don't have bombs. I can't do a ground jump. Turnip boy did nothing wrong. Turnip boy did not file taxes. Turnip Boy did nothing wrong in not filing those taxes. Okay, so I well, can no, go no, out. The, the, the IRS allows you to file for free this year. So you don't have to pay TurboTax 40 bucks for literally no reason. So, actually, it's ethical to file your taxes this year. I mean, you should have already done it by now, but... So 
So, Yoshi doesn't file taxes. Turnip Boy. Is Kirby? Kirby does, yes. I remember. No, Kirby's too young to file taxes. And Sonic doesn't file taxes. That's Sonic has no income. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's, that's more because Sonic is just an anarchist. If Sonic has no income, like, Yoshi doesn't have income either. In fact, Sonic has a higher chance of having income. He's got rings, gold rings. What do you think those are worth? They're gold. Yeah, but Yoshi owns an entire island. Nobody, like, you gotta do upkeep on that and everything. Nobody gets there on their own. Sonic just lives on Knuckles' couch half the time. All right, so which uh, which philosophers are these? If she's an animal, though, do they have a central government? I saw that map, but I'm looking at this. Oh, I see a chest behind here. If you're reading this, it would seem that you have found yourself here. Trapped alone in the very place I once called home long ago. There is an escape, but as I sit here, I already find my memory failing me. It won't be long now before even I can't remember how to leave. I must mark where I hid my tool, or I might really be lost forever. Also, I have one question for you personally. Are you... Truly... Alone. Oh, dark. Oh wait, no, that's a different game. Hmm. Okay, so... What is this? Is this the library? I don't recognize this room set up. It Same. might be the library? I think it is. Actually, no. I think it is the library. Alright, like, this is the entrance to the library. Because there was that kind of, like, shelf that we climbed up on to the right of the door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was, like, a hall, like, an area behind where we couldn't do anything up there. And then the left side here was those stairs, the steps up. So I guess on top of the library steps, in the bottom right of the room? But the problem was I couldn't figure out how to get up, climb up that. Do you think DK has a 401k? Yes. You do? Uh, no. No. I mean, look at how he spends his days when he's not committing war crimes, right? Like, he's he's lounging in his banana hammock. DK is 100% like, a <laughs> spend it as soon as you get it. You should have seen the, the look I just made. <laughs> I do not want to see DK in the banana hammock. Listen, DK, DK inherited a lot of his wealth. Oh, whoa, DK whoa, is a whoa, trust oh. Fund baby. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh. Banana? Yes. Oh, banana. Wait, hang on. I did, like, I did this, like, 12 years ago. Oh, banana. Anyway, we got bombs. But what do we need bombs for? Uh, there was a, uh, there was a thing in that big red, uh, like the orange brick room. Hidden under all those crates was a, uh, I think it was the, um, floor that busts open when you go to the dongo.
Yes. Oh, okay. Man, explosions are weird in this game. Something, something kind of eerie about the light in this room. No, you dickhead. Get down here. Attack me. Fine. Thought you could exit, find the exit that easily? I, I hope. staircase. Also, we do have one key. It's just not on the bottom. Infinite spiral staircase. So, uh, it's okay. This is this is easy. You just got to do a backwards long jump up this one. Kill the chew. And some rats. The partially open doors that close when you get close to them? Uh I think they're I debug. Don't think they're in the game, yeah. Go back the way you came. Oh, there was the thing about shooting something with the captain, remember? Yeah, blind the captain. Well, alright. We'll need a bow, I guess. Or nuts. Something. Bow seems more likely, because there's also that eye that's in the chandelier. Oh, no. Wait. The door put us out on... A different location? Oh, god. Oh, no. <laughs> We're no longer in Euclidean space. Hmm, I wonder what might be in there. Getting some bomb shoe vibes. Okay, so we got a bow. I'm like, where am I now? Uh, oh. A fake wall in... This was, like, the first room we went into. Yeah. Okay, so first, I'm gonna shoot the chandelier, because, you know, why else is there an eye texture on it? How do, how do I... how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Presume we need a hook shot, then? I'm, I guess we must. Just do a mega flip, God. You absolutely could mega flip to that. Yeah. Um, so should we go back to the captain? Uh, yeah, it's the only lead that we have right now. What was else? What else was in this room? This was the X, this was the X marks the spot, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there was that other locked door downstairs too. 
I'm guessing we might have to shoot one or one of these portraits. Blind that sailor. Oh, that's Blind Sally's brother. Blind, Blind sailor. sailor. What did that sailor ever do to you? Yeah, Kidor then Sailor. Wait, there was... I missed... Oh no, fake. I missed that one entirely. But... I just heard the click... The, the bomb click. I guess not. Um, yeah, we can do the key door. for in here. Good good use of my key. Uh we can probably hookshot those vines to climb them. You're right. Alright, so let's find the captain, shoot him in the face. Really out of place. Yeah. I was gonna say it looks pretty alright for for this. No, it looks fine on a technical level, it's just doesn't fit. There we go. I had to choose the correct eye. Is it just me, or is this room tilted? Slightly. Slightly. I mean, it's hard to tell, but I don't think you're incorrect. In order to escape, you also require the assistance of a special item. I think this note had something to do with it. Perhaps? Attached to the message is a note which reads, Pierce the heart which hides within the lonely woman. Within the Lonely Woman. What's that supposed to mean? Shoot that lady. This room is absolutely like... Uh, wasn't there something. a single woman in the in the Philosopher Room? Yeah, yeah there was. That shoe is pretty neat. We don't know if the woman if the woman is single. You're right. She 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 might not be lonely. She does have two gentlemen in the room with her. That does not mean I, I know that. You know, 
some nights you just want to sit there and talk hot and heavy philosophy with a pair of wigged gentlemen. Oh. What? Can you climb up in there now? Oh. Oh, it was quite literal. Yeah. This is some John Romero's head in, head inside the Icon of Sin stuff. Oh, we got the, the feather. Oh, okay. I guess this feather got released to the to to the public. I'm all for adding new items to ha to, to 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 Ocarina. So yeah, this is how we climb the library. Can we not get the chest? Yeah, I was gonna say. Can oh. We kick up your ass over to the chest now? You're right, yeah. Gotta get that fourth heart container! I'm having a real tough time navigating this elaborate wooden structure. Oh, the boss key. Boss key? <laughs> Alright. It's, it's gonna be Bongo, isn't it? Because he's the weirdest boss. Because this boss fight is already a liminal space. Like, for the most part, if you don't think about it too hard, most Zelda boss fights take place in rooms that make sense. Bongo's does not. I gotta get used to this feather. I realize I can also use it after jumping for the second jump. I don't have to jump ahead of time. Now, why is that book blue? Oh, there's an it's an arrow to tell you where that secret passage is. But also, okay. uh, I cannot make that gap. Are you sure? I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure. Roll, roll off the ledge. Oh, I, I, the... I get a double jump off of this thing? Like, more than one? Okay. I did not realize yeah. that I got, like, a functional triple jump. I was going to say, do you have a, yet another jump on top of that? Lens of Truth. Yeah, it's going to be Bongo. Yeah, probably. I have hidden some extra chests around the mansion. These lenses must be used to f find them. There are seven hidden chests in all. See if you can find all of them before you leave. Sounds like it's maybe mostly bonus content. I was gonna say, do we? It's probably I heart containers, I would guess. You'll say, FB, you can handle fighting Bongo with two hearts, right? Sure. Uh, you can still go up in the library. I know. I am just kind of taking a quick look around, because... PW's kind of right. If it's a heart container, that would be nice. I only have a couple hearts. Also, I'm just curious. Is it like big chests, small chests? What sort of stuff are they actually like? What, what do they actually hold? You know? So, I was just going to see if I could spot one. If it's, like, worthy stuff, then okay, I'll keep an eye out, but... 
if it's just like little things for bonus. Seven of them, there must be somewhere else. Because, like, this is all the opening rooms and nothing so far. Not even a single one. That or the mansion is bigger than I thought. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep going on, I guess. I don't want to do the whole downstairs thing again until the game pushes us back down there. Because that green room is still... We still don't have a hook shot, we assume. Big chest. Okay. It must be containers then. Alright, fair enough then. I'll at least, like, I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna force myself to go for all of them, but, I'm, but I will keep an eye out. baseball today uh, was there there was baseball in fact we went up 7-0 against the Royals in the second and then ultimately won the game 9-7 so you know take from that what you will well we still won at least the hammer what did I need the hammer for bongo no, you need the hammer for Volvagia. Maybe it's a boss rush. Maybe it's Bongo and Volvagia in the same boss fight. Can sure. we use the hammer to break the the filing cabinets, maybe? Oh, maybe. Maybe they're reskinned. They are kind of conspicuous. Also, because, yeah, there was definitely a set of the filing cabinets in front of one of the doors in the basement. Hmm... Yeah, that's right. That was one right here. We might as well test. Uh, oh, it was oh. not in this room. I thought it was. It's, uh... In this... Oh, it's in the, like, the kind of start room. And then there was one in the orange brick room, too. Oh, these are not the, uh... I thought that they were the, um... Rat attack! Wow, what is this? Dark Souls? Anyway, I thought that that was... I thought it was the Fire Temple statues, but no. I don't know how much longer I will still be able to think clearly. Uh, dude, you already aren't. You put this note in a rat hole. I tried to barricade the final door to keep anything from coming in. Or out. The wall looks a little weak, though. Especially right behind the chest where I store my prized bow. I'll have to remember to secure that soon, before it's too late. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Just, I turned around and it's all completely dark over there. I thought that we were doing some, like, manipulate the camera stuff. You know, look one way. Okay, so that's probably why the chest with the bow was labeled. So that you could remember which chest was the one you got the bow out of. Alright then, let's go back down. After I break this box. Okay, thank you, fairy. Um... I guess... Let's do this one. Actually, first, quick look here. Don't see anything. And another hint. And another chest. What is... what is on the wall? Hang on. Those are... Are those supposed to be, like, Wind Waker Wiz Wizrobe masks? I think so. And hoods. Or robes, yeah. I'm losing my mind! Am I the master of this house? Or is this house the master of me? When I put on this robe... And this bird mask, I feel... Fire! Ice! Monsters! Key. Escape. Chandelier. Always watching. Don't shoot. The eye. The rest is crossed out lines in gibberish. Okay, well that we was... We already shot the eye. I spotted that eye very early, yes. He put on his robe and wizard hat and went nuts. No, he put on his robe and wizard hat and nut in. Ah. That is a slight difference. Also, Wind Waker Wiz Robes best Wiz Robes. Hands down. Not even a not even a competition. Alright, uh anything else here? Like look up at those uh No? 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 Just a heart container in here? Unless we get a hook shot. But no, I don't think there's anything else. Wind Waker Wiz Robes are available in Ocarina now. Huh. Actually, did we see one? In a hack? I think, I think so. we did, actually. Maybe it was something we played last time. Rats, gels, slimes, pole voice, wind waker wiz, wiz robes that show up in these. Fought one in Escape Souls. Oh, the one we didn't finish. So this was the captain. This was the giant tilted room. Uh huh. Well, we found all but one of the heart containers, so... Yeah.
I'll take a few extra arrows. Alright, then go back down the, the non-Euclidean stairs. Actually, I have a feeling I know where the last chest might be. Yeah. Okay. I feel like this is this is neat, but I I like Grandma's house better, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what the actual scoring criteria was, or the like the results, like breakdowns or anything. I like the feel of this, but I feel like the Grandma's one was a little bit more fun. So it's the wall behind the chest here. We'll just blow it up. Or maybe... yeah. Some, some of these hacks definitely felt more like escape rooms. I think this one has some of that feeling, but it's not like... I would say this one is, like, on definitely more on, like, the escape room side, and the items you're getting are more kind of incidental to the escape. Yeah. Whereas some of these other ones are definitely dun mini dungeon feel. Puzzle heavy, but mini dungeon. I'm not sure it's Bongo. Oh, it's 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 him. Yeah, we should you know we should have seen this coming. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Does the ice summon blue? No, he. So he's got a fire spell and ice spell. He can listen to some of those dudes. Yeah, that's right. Fire ice monsters, he said. As much as we were joking during bedtime stories, yeah, but it was actually like part of a good escape room is having some kind of background story, and like this has one, but it's not. It's, I feel like it's almost not in your, like, this is a weird way to put it, but, like, a good escape room story is usually, like, in your face about it. Like, you're constantly getting, like, little tidbits about it as you solve the puzzles, and I really don't get that from this one. It's very threadbare. Everything is related to the story. Like, the puzzles that you're solving in, uh... This guy could use a uh, longer um, Z target radius. No, no, no. It's for actually seeing, hitting the Z target. Do I get him? Or did he just drop stuff? Uh, did I, did I break it? Oh, there's a chew up here randomly. That, why is the chew up there? The real boss. Because it's the real boss. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna call myself a connoisseur of escape rooms or whatever, but like... There, there is a certain expectation when you hear the phrase escape room of, like, there's going to be a story. And this game, this one sort of has that. Yeah, like, this man goes mad, but we don't really know why we're... I mean, escape rooms, you don't always know why you're there. You're just kind of there. Congratulations, you've escaped! 
This is my first major ROM hack. The most I've done before is some small Mario 64 hacks using Decomp. I'm still new to to C though, but I hope, uh, but I learned a lot making this, and hope to learn a lot more in the future. Also, thanks you know, James for, for helping me figure out some stuff in C by sharing your knowledge with me. Haha. -ha. For a first effort, that wasn't bad though. Oh no, definitely not. Like this is good. This is definitely good. The feel of it is really kind of interesting. The like, fundamentals are there, and this person, with a little bit of effort, definitely can do really cool things. I, that's kind of how I think about a lot of these. Even, like, some of the ones that weren't in the top three are still quite good. Ah, oh, thanks, Oolong. Oh, it's Invincible Sign, that's the real final boss. Oh, I can't even jump. All I can do is look out at this... big... Those, those plants up there are huge by comparison. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm glad we got to experience this contest. There are two more entries. Uh, like, we didn't finish that super long one. I might do that on my own time. I don't know. We'll see. And then there was the one that cannot be run on P Project 64 that I had to, I would have to set up a separate emulator for. We'll see if I get to that. I am kind of interested in seeing what the heck they needed another emulator or hardware for. Also, the fact that it needed a content warning. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but yeah. I think that'll do it for us for tonight uh, because we went a little longer than expected going into this final one. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching and uh, I'll just figure out what I'm doing next and we'll see you again next time. Take it easy, folks. Oh, it's turning night. Beautiful sunset over the mountain.